Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is a double nightfall run. This is a run on the hunter and a run on the titan. If you're here for the five minute run, that's the titan run. The time is on the screen now. The hunter run is about seven and a half minutes. The titan run is about five minutes, 20. Uh, I decided to do both of them because there's a couple of warlock runs up, but there aren't many titan runs up or hunter runs up. So with the community event on, there's a lot of hunt titans, a lot of hunters. So this will show you how to do it reasonably quickly. I'm using Imperial Decree, uh, Load of Question, and Warcliffe Coil for both characters. Stompy's on the, the Hunter. And as you can see, no score, no score multiplier. I'm using Arc Singe Heavyweight and Momentum. I apologize for my voice. I'm coming down with a chest infection, so it won't stop me getting the videos out. You might just have to put up with my crackly voice for a couple of, a week or two. So when you get to this part, I spiral past this first set of enemies, I, I kind of line myself up with that gap, and as soon as I spiral through it, I strafe into the left, then immediately strafe back to the right, so I'm in line to go straight into the cave. Once you spiral up here, I go right up to these ads, and then dodge to go invisible, and then fire my war cliff, and get the orb straight away. As you can see, the, uh, the, the the knight wandered away from me. I always come up here. It just... The jumping up here allows me to to get my health back. And then drag all the enemy, enemies back down. And then make it back up here. So, as you can see, this knight's going to come push me. I'm going to hit him twice. Grab the orb straight away. Get a couple of jumps on. Get my health back. Make it up to the exit. And then we're ready to run through so make sure your war cliff's reloaded. Make sure everything's reloaded. And run through to the next section. The next section we're going to be attacking is the four knights and then the wizard. Now, when you get to this part, hug the left-hand side. Do a real kind of deep kind of curve here. Go all the way out so that you, you don't get affected by the exploders. The exploder might not hurt you. It might not kill you. You know, it might do no damage to you. But if any of that explosion hits you, it slows you down, which makes it harder to prop momentum when you're trying to run away from the rest of the ads. So hug the right hand side as you're jumping through. And now when we get here, we're going to fire from right to left and we're just going to spray these knights. Keep it a little bit more in the, whatever direction you fire in. So if you fire right to left, keep it on the right hand side a little bit longer, you know, and then spray it. So just leave it a millisecond on the right and then spray it. And you... That's one of the first times doing these runs that I haven't killed all four of them with one one uh, fire from the Warcliffe. So now that we've killed those those Acolytes, we actually can go now. But I'm just trying to see if I can get any spare ammo. I've got a brick of heavy there. As you, I'm running low. I'm not running low. i just like to have maybe more, more ammo than I needed. But I could have, you know, as you, you guys can probably see, this should have been a faster run. You know, I've wasted 30 seconds here. So this would have been six, six minute, six odd minute run. And now we're going to run to the ogre. So the ogre, the way we're going to do it is we're going to take out the wanted enemy with Warcliffe. Dodge to reload the Warcliffe straight away. And then we're going to take out the ogre with a shotgun. And then load a question for the first two knights. Once we throw the orbs, we will switch to the other side. We will take out the, the ogre. And then we'll put a tether where the ogre was. So the two knights jumping down from the, the top level will jump straight into the tether and make it easy pickings, no problem at all. So as you can see there, I never reloaded, so I've lost my dodge. Make sure you're reloaded when you get into this part because it's it's it can be a nightmare. Throw your grenade. You've got two shots should take out the first knight. And then just make sure you're using this you know, play safe, make sure you're using this cover. Now what we're going to do before we go to pick up the orbs, because we know the ogre's there, we're going to get the ogre to come around this side, and then run past, grab an orb if you can, if you can't, just keep going. Come back, pick up an orb, throw the orb. Now we're going to try and take out these two crystals. And as you can see, the knight's not looking at us. That's what happens... You've, I think most people now have seen that there's a video where you can farm the knights. I don't bother with that. That's There's no need to do it, really. But uh, if the knight's not looking at you, you're, you're good to go. So the ogre's out. So we're just going to use our 
load of question and then tether right here that's where the ogre would have come up and the knights are just going to jump down into it so we're going to use for a load of question and as you can see brilliant got loads of special there uh the uh, the, the shared damage was really really good for us couple of shots on using the loaded question because they're in the tether perfect so we'll take out that that orb we'll throw that orb at that crystal and then we'll make it round to the other crystal try to keep our health propped as you can see movement is key we've got our war cliff reloaded we fire a war cliff and then shotgun as you can see that, as you've seen there that could have been that could have been disastrous because i put out my loaded question and i don't have any loaded question ammo now we're going to make it down to Nocris. Nocris is actually really simple, especially with the Warcliffe, especially when you've not got power handicaps on. Even if you have got power handicaps on and you've got heavyweight on, very, very simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to spray these knights the way we do when there's, whenever there's four knights together, we'll spray them. Try and take out as many with one spray as possible. And as you can see there, we, we took out a few of them. We took out all of them. Now we'll make it up here. And what we're going to do is fire, dodge, and fire. Once I do this, I'll explain why it never killed them. Very close to killing them. Very close to killing them. What happens? What happened there? What normally happens is when you fire the war cliff, there is a slight delay before you can fire again. And it's just the, the timing for killing Nocris with two shots is absolutely you know there's no room for error so you really have to time it properly we got the timing pretty good it's the exact same timing i've used every time i've done this and i've tested this strategy out a few times as i always do with my strategies i don't like putting something out and it's like well that worked this time it might never work again i don't i don't like those strategies kind of probably why on this character i did do some what you guys probably remember when the when the Arc Strider was really powerful, I didn't really, I didn't put any content up for that because I knew they were going to nerf it. They'd already said they were going to bring that back in line, so I wouldn't like people to go on my video and go Ooh, on my channel and go, Ooh, there's, "There's a strategy here for absolutely melting this boss, and you can't do it anymore." So I test my strategies just to make sure that they are repeatable exactly the way I've said for you to do them. So when the knights come out. <sighs> Again, Warcliffe is super good for bosses, and I think the nerf they brought in on it is gone now because it's back to being as strong as it was pre-nerf. But taking out knights with orbs with the the with the Warcliffe is not good, simply because the Warcliffe has this really bad habit of blowing up the orbs. So we're gonna. We, I never had a lot of uh, fusion rifle ammo. So what I done was one fusion rifle, shotgun to kill. And as you can see, Nocris had nothing left. Really close to getting the one phase there, but never quite managed it. And there you go. That's a seven, seven minutes 40. Seven minutes 40 on the hunt. I would have been faster if I hadn't. I tried to farm uh, ammunition. And if I'd have had more ammo at the end, I could have just attacked the adds. So that's the hunter run. The titan run, because we get the one phase, is a lot faster. The one phase is achievable with the the Titan and the Warlock because you've got something that will just auto reload. So as you can see, my Imperial Decree is different. I've got Trench Barrel on this one, but I don't use it. So it basically is just another Imperial Decree. I'm using Armamentarium to get two grenades because I'm using Bottom Tree of the Titan the way it should be used and not destroying everything that's path in in crucible so exactly the same we're going to sp spar over here and then a quick quick jump across the canyon when we get to this opening make sure you're blocked from the ads and get your line yourself up as soon as you get past that time because i think it was because i hit the ad i didn't have to i didn't have to uh strafe back to the right but i strafed left so this time because we've not got invisibility, I'll put a grenade there, which hopefully will stop any ads from pushing too much. So we've grenaded that guy. Fusion rifle. 
just keep moving so that you you keep proking your your uh, keep proking your momentum. Staying airborne as much as possible. We've got heavy. Jump back. Throw the orb. Get in here. And that's us through that section. Exactly same way on this next section. All we're going to do this time is we're going to slide up to the knights. Keep a hold of red. Uh, and that will bring up our rally barricade. So we will get the auto reload straight away anyway. And as you can see. Still take that wide, wide uh, left hand side because, as I said last time, if the if they hit you, you just get slowed down and it's just it's just a nightmare. You feel like you're running in quicksand. Keep to the right hand side to make it past the ads without getting bumped. And when you get here, as you can see, I'm going to slide into my rally barricade. Just keep your hand on red, and we just pepper them all. Nearly got them all. We've got the reload, fire at the wizard, we're all reloaded up, and we've got ammunition, so now we'll just pick off these guys, make sure that they're all dead, and then we get our ads. Now I don't know why I've done this, this would have been a sub 5 minute run if I hadn't have done this. If I hadn't have fought them, that would have been a sub 5 minute run, but... It is what it is. So now we're going to head right over to the ogre. Now the ogre section is roughly the same way we've done it on the hunter. Except we don't have a tether. So when, when we get to that side. We're going to proc. We're super. Just to take out the knights and any adds that could be doing us any real damage. Now. I don't have any weapons to give me lightweight on. If you've got a primary shotgun with lightweight. Or an energy shotgun with lightweight. If it's arc. You can go with that. But. I found this loadout to be really good. So same thing again. Take out this time we're taking out the ogre with with uh load of question. Now because the knights came out, I never bothered trying to reload to get to get uh the reservoir burst. But the one thing I should add is I do have taken armaments on. Now I <laughs> I never put them on to do this run. I am so bad at throwing orbs. Now what I've done here, if you ever do this, run past the, the, the ogre, get him to slam, and then come back. Once he does his slam, if you're far enough away it won't affect you, he won't do it again. So, never really affected us too badly, so I hit him once with the fusion rifle, just, just to take himself down. Now, we're going to do, as I say, what this super is supposed to do. It's just a nightmare when you see this coming to you in, in, uh, in Crucible. Although I did have an Iron Banner. I had a really good uh, snipe, to, uh, snipe to bottom tree striker right out of super. That was, that was quite good. I wouldn't have a problem with that super if every Titan that used it didn't wear uh, one-eyed mask. Anybody that follows me on Twitter will know exactly what I think of the one-eyed mask. I put, an, I put a tweet up the other day. I won't repeat it in the video. But uh, that is my feelings on the one-eyed mask. I actually put it on during Iron Banner. And felt so bad, I took it off. Because I don't need it. Anyway. So the, now that you've done that, as you can see, one, it's really simple to do that room with Bottom Tree Striker. And the super affords you so much uh, shield that you're practically invincible. So when we get down this area, we're going to do exactly the same thing, except we need two Wardcliffe for Nocris. So we can only we can only spray one Wardcliffe because we've only got three. And I'm going right to left. Now I'm not going to reload. I'm going to get up here. I'm going to put my Rally Barricade down because the Rally Barricade will reload. And you want to fire as soon as Nocris stops. As soon as Nocris stops fire, and as you can see the difference between Titan and Hunter, it's an immediate refire. You can refire immediately. And that's the two runs, guys. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope this helps you maybe get through them. You haven't got Extinguish on, so don't, don't worry if you die. You'll be at a checkpoint. Good luck. Good luck with the community event. I'm sure we'll get this emblem and we'll all have a lot of fun. Look out for the next two videos, and I will see you guys 
in the next one.